class we had uh, started with the discussion of the poem animals yesterday and uh, in this poem yes what are the things that the poet discusses and here the poet has said that he feels that the animals are much better than humans and he feels more comfortable with them right because he finds that as man has grown as he has evolved he has lost many qualities along the way and he feels that the animals have not changed at all so he finds that the animals are better okay right so let's just uh, discuss here once again what is it that we were doing i think i can turn turn be with the animals live with the animals right become like with them they are so placid and self contained i stand and look at them long and long so they're very peaceful they are so contented right and in contrast humans are there we are very restless we are never satisfied we are always selfish and greedy So he thinks that no animals are much, much better. I stand and look at them long and long. So I can stand for a long time because he feels that the animals are much better than the humans. They do not sweat and whine about the conditions. They don't go complaining. Oh, the sun, the sun, that. I am poor. I I don't have this. Always complain. That is what he wants. They do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins. First, they do wrong. Then they sorry for it. Right? They hurt others. They commit crimes. They commit sins. They do wrong, and then they ask for forgiveness. they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god we know our duty towards god we know we should be good people we know we should be responsible citizens but no even then we go on hurting others animals don't do that yeah we we talk about some animals say eh? it is their nature only they are there they hunt for their prey you know but otherwise you know, out of the way they don't go to hurt others right not one is dissatisfied not one is demented with the mania of hurting animals are not dissatisfied they're not uh, you know like here uh, discontented like humans want more and more and they don't have this craze that i want to own more things the demented with the mania of owning things so they kind of obsessed they have this craze they want to possess more and more okay right so the craze of collecting owning more material things which things material things more money more wealth a bigger car a bigger house all the things not one needs to another one does not need to another does not bow down right showing that yes you are superior than me they don't do that animals don't do that they are all equal nor to his kind that lived thousands of years right so here he is very upset by the fact that humans have decided among themselves for me right that someone is superior someone is better and he is maybe a person who lived so many years ago like what he said what he believed in what he did and are uh, they kneeling down in front of them were bowing bowing down in front of them and thinking that they are better than us here in a way he is questioning the religious beliefs of people he is questioning the religious practices of humans why should we think that one person is superior one person is better than the other okay right 
So here he does not want this to happen. He thinks animals don't do that. Animals are equal. Right? And this is one very nice quality. And he wants to be with the animals. He thinks he'll be more comfortable with the animals because they do not have inequality. They treat everybody equally. They don't do wrong things and then they cry and they ask for forgiveness. But humans do that. Not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole world. All among all the animals, there is not one which is shown more respect, right? Which is treated better than the others, which is treated above others, or unhappy over the whole world. So right here, yeah, why is this animal sad? Because that animal is getting more important. So you know, it does not happen. Right? They are all equal. So they show their relations to me and I accept them. So they show, they show these qualities to me. Which quality? Of equality. Of not being selfish. Of not hurting others of being contained, satisfied. So animals, they show these qualities to me and I accept them, right? And they show their behavior towards other animals. And from that, the poet sees that all these animals are so happy. They don't have any problems. There is no inequality. They don't go around crying and complaining. They bring me tokens of myself. They evince them plainly in their possession. They bring me tokens of myself. Tokens kya hai? Tokens kya hai? Yeah? What is it? What's, what you, you get these tokens, isn't it? Right? Isn't it? Here it is, they, these signs which they get, some symbol that they have. So they show me when I interact with them, what do they show me? They bring me tokens of myself. They show me signs, they show me things of what I was like once, of what all humans were like once. They evince them plainly in their possessions. We have lost these qualities as we have grown, so-called, as we have evolved, we have lost all these qualities. We have lost the quality of being equal. We have lost the quality of being caring. We have lost the quality of being concerned, being content. But he says, when I look at the animals, they show me all these qualities. They show me behavior, right, which could have been mine. They show me the qualities which I have lost along the way. That maybe once upon a time we were like that, but as we have changed, we have become different, completely different, okay? They evince them plainly in their possession. They show me to be like this. We're happy, we're content, we're all well, we live together. We don't go around hurting others, right? We are not unhappy. No, it's not like that. I wonder where they got those tokens, tokens or signs, those qualities. Where did they get those tokens? When did they become caring? When did they become so content? When did they become so happy? When did they become equal? Where did this happen? Did I pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them? So did I pass that way? Did I also grow on that way? Did I evolve on that way? And what happens? So many years ago, right? Yes, once upon a time, we were also like them. But what happened? What happened on the way? We dropped those qualities. Who picked them up? The animals picked them up. Right? And they have never dropped them. They have not let go of those qualities. But we have changed. We have 
become, I, I would say, in the process of evolving, we have lost so many good things on the way. But the animals, they have not lost those qualities. And that is why he thinks that, yes, the animals are much, much better. Okay, I wonder where they get those tokens. Where did they get these qualities? Where did we get these qualities? Did I pass that way huge times for many, many years? So did I pass that way? Was I like that? And neglected, what is neglected? Being careless, unknowingly. Did I lose those qualities? And did not pick them up again. I just left them and I moved on. And I became something different, okay? Is it clear? What does this poem talk about? Yes? What is this poem about? Tell me. Yes, now just tell me here. Yeah, please raise your hand. If you have understood what this poem is about, can you tell me please? Raise your hand, I can unmute you, give me the answer. Just first of all, give me a yes or no. Give me a yes or no. Have you understood this poem? Have you understood this poem? What does the poem talk about here? What does it talk about in this poem? Yeah? What does it talk about? Yeah, raise your hand and tell me. Raise your hand first, tell me. Raise your hand if you understood the poem, please. What does this poem talk about? Why does the poet think that animals are better than humans? What are the qualities that animals have, humans don't? Can you answer these questions? Can you tell me please? Yes? Is it about cruelty of animals towards humans? Definitely not. Definitely not. It is not. It is about the behavior of the animals, how they are different than human beings. Why does the poet say animals are better? Raise your hand and give me the answer. Raise your hand, I will unmute you and you will give me the answer. Yes. Why does he say that animals are better? How many of you are listening to me right now? How many of you are physically present in the class? Right now sitting in front of your screen, listening to the teacher, I got one response. Only one person. What are the others? Tell me, are you listening to me? Two. Others. Three. Come on, let me see you all. Very good. Good, good. Okay. See, if I am talking so much, I, I should like to see your response. Are you listening to me? Are you understanding what this poem is about? Yes, this poem is about animals. And the poet thinks that animals are better than human beings. Why does he see? What are the qualities about animals that he likes and which he thinks Humans have lost them. Why do you think this has happened? Yes, I have written over here. What are the qualities? Quality. How do humans show this quality here? How do they show that there is inequality among humans? We consider some humans to be superior than us, right? We respect them more than others, isn't it? We bow down in front of them. Isn't it? That is why he thinks that, yes, there is inequality among animals. Among animals, is it there? No, it is not. Humans, they keep on crying and complaining about the things they have done 
which they were not supposed to do. They hurt somebody, right? They did something wrong, they cheated, they committed a crime, then they cried for their sins. Do animals do that? No. They don't hurt others, they don't go around cheating, they don't go around, you know, what uh, harming and hurting somebody, right? Then he talks about that how humans are obsessed with this idea of collecting things. They want more and more. Animals don't. And he says, when I look at the animals, they show me all these qualities, they show me all this behavior. And what do I do? What do I do? I, I see that. And I realize that when have the humans, you know, like changed? Where have they lost all these qualities? Then I realize that was it many, many years ago, we were also on the same path. And as we grew, as we changed, as we evolved, we lost all these qualities. Who picked these qualities? Who kept those qualities? The animals. The animals did not change, but humans changed, right? And he is very sad that humans have lost their humanity. Humans have lost equality. Humans have lost contentment. Humans have lost happiness, right? And if we don't have all these qualities, can we say that we are happy? Can we say we are happy? No, we cannot. Who has these qualities? The animals have these qualities. That means they are happier than us. They are better than us. Right? Isn't it? So we have grown. We have changed. We have lost all these qualities. And the animals, you know, somehow they picked up these qualities. And they did not change. They did not Lose this. Is this clear? Is this clear to you? Yes or no? Come on, give me a yes or no. Let me see what. Yes, yeah. Okay, I'll explain the sixth line. Which line is it? One, two, three, four, five. This one, not one, is dissatisfied. Yes. Yes, Simon, what is your problem? What is your question, please? Yes, not one is dissatisfied. Who is he talking about? Animals. They are not unsatisfied. They're happy in the world they live in. They're happy in the forest. They're happy in the tree. They're happy in the water. Wherever they are, they are so happy in their habitat, in their environment. Not one is demented with the mania of owning things. They don't have that obsession. They don't have that craze of owning things. Mania, yeah, they craze of them. Demented, they are not changed or they're not obsessed with this idea, right? It's like, I, I, I let me collect so many leaves here and let me collect so many branches and twigs. So the bird will go every day and yes, search uh, for the grub that it needs, bring it to its nest, feeds its young one. It's not saying, okay, let me store so many and so that I won't have to fly it away again tomorrow. But humans do that. We don't need to so many things, but even then we keep on collecting them. Animals don't do that. Is this clear? Not one kneels to another. Kneel kya hota? Jukna, bow down, bend down. Is kya jukne? Right? When we consider someone better than us, when we consider someone superior to us. Right? Nor to his kind. Kind means a similar animal. Right? An animal like him. We don't, we don't see one bowing in front of the other. We don't see this happening among the animals, right? There might be one that is stronger than the other, right? That is always there, you know, in a flock or in a pride and all. But there is not one who considers himself superior than the others. Okay, you have to bow down in front of me. 
You have to respect me. You have to listen. Where does this happen? Among the, the humans. And the poet is not at all happy with this. Right? And it is not in the present day that uh, the people, they are bowing down. But someone lived so many years ago. Right? He is questioning the religious beliefs also. Why do we have to bow down? Why do we have to listen to people? Or why do we have to behave? Or why do we have to think? Right? Right? Uh, what someone told us so many, many years ago. Right? So he does not like this. He's questioning this. And is it right to do such a thing? But then once again, everyone has their own belief. And he feels that uh, I, I don't want to do all this. And that is why animals are much, much better. They have not made their life complicated. How have they kept their life? Very simple. Isn't it? It's us humans who have made our life complicated. Is this clear? Anything not clear? Let me know. Which line? Which word? So they show their relations to me and I accept them. They're sort of showing their kindness. They're showing their goodness to me. They're showing their behavior to me. All these qualities that have been described, they show them to me and I accept them. Because he says that in the first line, I think I could turn and live with the animals. I could be one of them. I could go and live among them. Right? Because he feels that they are much better than humans. Okay? Right? So they show relations to me and I accept them. They bring me tokens of myself. They are showing me signs of myself. This is what we were so many, many years ago, right? We were all equal, we were kind, we were caring, we were concerned. They evince them plainly in their possession. Events, they shine. You see, we have these qualities. They don't hesitate in showing those qualities. Qualities which we have lost. And it seems we lost those qualities in our path of progress, in our path of evolution. But these animals picked up those qualities and they're showing us that this is what you were, this is what we are. And we are going to remain like this. We are not going to let go of this kind of behavior. We are not going to change, right? But humans have changed. Have you understood any doubts? Any questions? Yes.